part of what I want to bring out about the split, the civil war, mm -hmm. you describe it, between the Centralists and the Federalists, is that there are Mexican officers, military officers, besides politicians and just plain folks, who are not particularly in love with Santa Ana either. That's and, certainly and, true. And one of my, my favorite characters is Jose Antonio Mejia. And the reason I like Mejia is because it's his name, it's really his kid's name, yeah. that is applied to one of the most famous cities in Texas because nobody knows how to pronounce right. the name. But it Mexia is, or it, it is Mejia. It's Mejia, it's not, yeah. you know, Mexia. Yeah. Um, but this guy Nor was, is it Bexer. And it's not Bexer, yeah. and apparently it's not Bayar either. No, it's not. Okay, well, I'll fix that. Anyhow, with uh, Mejia, he was a Mexican Federalist officer. Mm-hmm. And after the disturbances of 1832, actually went to Texas to see if something was up. And what he found was, well, they're, they're agitated, but these guys are not revolutionary. And really, it was Stephen F. Austin that helped present that position in convincing. Yeah. And again, what Stephen F. Austin tells him is what I've said time and time again. Texans aren't interested in your domestic Mexican squabbles. Okay. So... But but Mejia is an interesting guy because unusually for uh, because you know we've made the point that most Mexican officers are centralist. Yeah, but he's not. And unusually, he is an ardent federalist. But but you know he's an, he's an interesting guy. So when Santa Ana comes into power, his tenure is going to be rather short. Well, he's he's on a hit list. Yeah, I, I can imagine. And and, so. and the the best thing that would happen to him is he had spend a stint in prison. Well, he decides he's going to spend his stint in New Orleans. Well, that's uh, it's better than prison. Yeah, I would say New Orleans would be a better he's, choice you know, than prison. You know, he's down there sipping hurricanes at Pat O'Brien's. Well, he's, or, you know, it's a, it's a good place to hang out. Or heading down to Magazine Street looking for uh, Federalists. Uh, true, tr well, <laughs> are if not Federalist adventurers who might support the Federalist cause. Well, that, you know, any port in a storm, as they say. Well, and maybe the there's an the... opportunity. Uh, another opportunity. An op an, uh, yeah. Now, is Mejia in touch with Stephen F. Austin? Are they kind of comparing notes and coordinating? I've never seen any evidence to support See, that. Yeah, and I've seen some that they were. They were? Correspondents, yeah. And well, I, I, you know, I think they're talking to each other. I, I don't know that uh, at this juncture Austin would have supported the Tampico expedition if he had known what Mejia was up to. Do you think he well, knew what he was yeah, up to? Yeah, I think he might have known. And, and what I'm, the way I hear it is yeah. that Austin was saying, well, Madam Morris is a better target for you instead of Tampico. And so they were well, actually talking about And where, he's right. Yeah, he is absolutely right. He is right. right. Uh, so anyhow... Really, what I want the reason I wanted to talk about this is because, in fact, it's not all of Mexico. There is an internal split within Mexico. Oh, absolutely. And Mejia is a good example of a Federalist officer that will hope to spark a Federalist counter revolution, if you yes, will. Yes, yes. On the coast of Mexico, and that may involve the Texans or it may not. And Ultimately, it doesn't really. Ish. Ish. <laughs> uh, I, I, he finds a lot of guys right off the boat in New Orleans. Yeah. And they have no idea what they're getting into. It, it's my understanding that when they, when they board the Mary Jane, many of these people think they're going to Texas. Well, they'll get there. We'll get to that. <laughs> That'll and, be the story and, that comes up. And they... Uh, and they uh, uh, yeah, when they end up in Tampico, they say, uh, "Where's this?" And of Southern course, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> well, far south Texas. Yeah, but uh, the the problem is that yes, there there had been Federalists in Tampico, but they've already been crushed. Hang on, we're go you're getting ahead of okay. the story because okay. we've got to have a cannon incident first. Ah, but all right, we're going to get to that next. All right.